G'day kids, Ozzy here. I'm pretty excited because today we're going to learn all about Australian cattle dogs, which are sometimes known as blue healers or red healers, or you may know them as bluey dogs. This episode is for Harry, Lucy and Mitch from Sydney, Australia. A big thank you to you guys for coming on board and supporting Aussie. We know how much you love bluey dogs, so enjoy this episode. First, we're going to learn the basics of this breed. Then is the really exciting part. We're going to go and meet a real bandit and chili, a mummy and daddy Australian cattle dog. And then of course, we're going to meet some little bluey and bingo dogs, little puppy Australian cattle dogs. Then we're going to sit back and read a bluey book. I can't wait. Let's get started. Did you know that Australian cattle dogs are the first designer dogs bred right here in Australia for the Australian conditions? It's true. A very long time ago, in 1814, by a man named Thomas Hall. The very first bluey dog was a cross between a dingo and Thomas Hall's very own cattle dog known as a cur dog. The cur dog was very similar to a collier dog or a shepherd dog from England with maybe a little bit of terrier chucked in too. Anyway, it was just the right mix to create the perfect Australian cattle herding dog for Australian conditions, the Australian cattle dog. Here is a rare photo of Thomas Hall and the very first Australian cattle dog. Isn't that the coolest thing? This dog is now a much loved breed of dog all around the world and here in Australia, thanks to Thomas Hall, and more recently, the favorite Aussie TV show, Bluey. Everyone loves the real life Bluey dog because they are loyal, hardworking, and really, really smart. And just like Bandit from the TV show Bluey, they're known to be really, really handsome as well. The Australian cattle dog has been nicknamed the Blue Healer and sometimes the Red Healer because of their color and also the way they herd the cattle by nipping at their heels. And this is a really interesting fact. Both the blue healers and the red healers are born white and the colored hair grows through the white hair as they get older. As you may know from the show Bluey, that Bluey is a blue healer and Bingo is a red healer. And they often have patches or marks over their eyes, a bit like this. Anyway, let's stop talking about Australian cattle dogs and looking at photos of them. It's about time we went and met one for real life. Who wants to come with Ozzy and meet some mummy and daddy and little puppy Australian cattle dogs? Let's go. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today is going to be really exciting because I've come along to a place called Combinalong Kennels and we're going to learn all about an Australian icon, the Aussie cattle dog. Check these guys out, they're beautiful. They're often known as a blue healer or a red healer, but you might recognise them because they look a lot like two little characters called Bluey and Bingo. These are the Australian cattle dogs and today we're going to learn all about them. Let's go kids. kids. I wish I could just take them all home. How beautiful are they? Hey, cut it out you two. So these pups are seven weeks old. So for the first six weeks, these little ones were fed solely on mum's milk. And they're about to get vaccinated and they're also going to have a hearing test. So kids, you can see that they're 
very playful and they're nipping at my heels just like they do with the cattle. And that's how they got their name, the Blue Heelers, nipping at the heels. So beautiful. Hey, you're cheeky. There's a couple of really cheeky ones in here. You check this little one out. You can see that eye patch. It's got a single eye patch on its face just there. And some of them have two and some of them have none. But they are all beautiful. All of these dogs are from the same mum and dad, but mum is a blue and dad is a red. And that's why some are the red colour and some are the blue colour. So the reason that these dogs are different colours is because the original Australian cattle dogs are bred from Northumberland Kerr, which has the blue merle and the Australian dingo, which comes in red. And that's why the litter is sometimes blue, sometimes red. Now you can also see that they're a little bit white in colour. That's because all Australian cattle dogs are born white. And then the colour, the blue, or that red colour, starts to come through as they get older. Wouldn't you love to own one of these beautiful dogs? They are so cute. And they would be good fun to own. But you need to know that owning a dog comes with a lot of responsibilities. You've got to feed them, you've got to walk them, and owning a dog is for life. They become your best friend, they become part of your family, and they'll be super loyal as long as you're nice and loyal to them. They're beautiful dogs, they're super playful, and I reckon, I reckon they want to run around. Come on, puppy, 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 puppy. We're playing Chase the Aussie. <laughs> Ozzy's gonna tire out before they do. They're young and they're full of energy. How cute are these beautiful little Australian cattle dogs? Lots of little blueies and bingos. Should we go and meet their mum and dad? Let's go. So kids, this is Webby. Webby is a blue healer, and Webby is a supreme champion, which is the highest award you can win in confirmation for blue healers. He's 10 years old and he's retired from breeding, but he's one of the bosses here at Kambinalong, and he still loves a good tummy rub. Isn't she great? So you can see that Flute is a beautiful dog. She's extremely loyal. And Australian cattle dogs make really, really good pets because they're also known as super glue dogs because they don't leave your side. They love human contact. So they love it when you get home. They love being taken for a walk and being played with. And they're really easy to teach because they're super, super smart. But you can see Flute's beautiful color. She's a red healer. And this color is actually called Red Speckle. And that's because the original breed of the dingo and the Northumberland Kerr, the dingo comes in a red color too. And the Northumberland Kerr comes in what's called a blue merle. And that, combined with the dingo, that's what gives them the blue color for the blue healers. But you can see, as we're walking along, you should always keep your dog to your left of you. That's part of training the dogs, and that's part of them being obedient and learning how to be obedient and loyal. So kids, we've got two five week old pups here, a Bluey and a Bingo. I just want to say a massive thank you to Narelle from Combinalong Kennels for letting us come along and play with these beautiful dogs. I hope you've learned lots about Australian cattle dogs. Kids, we'll see you on our next video. Until then, stay keen.
Cause he is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. So we've learnt lots about the beautiful Australian cattle dogs and how good was that visit to the kennel, getting to play with those awesome blue and red healer pups. I had heaps of fun and I hope your kids did too. Now, let's enjoy a book together from Bluey. This one is called The Creek. Bluey's bored of the playground. She's played on everything twice. Mackenzie has an idea. What about we go to the creek? Yeah, I'll take you down to the creek, says Dad. Yay, cry the kids. Dad scoops up Bingo and races off. Let's bush bash. Bluey holds back. She's not sure what the creek is like. Maybe she might just stay in the playground. I think she's feeling a bit nervous, isn't she? But Mackenzie won't let her. Come on, Bluey, the creek is beautiful. The creek is very different to the playground. There are more thorns there, more spiders, and definitely more leeches. But there's also more of these fellas. Wow, that's a cool looking lizard, isn't it? The gang heads down a slope. The ground is more uneven here. And there are no steps like at the playground. Ah! Wow, says Bingo when they arrive at the creek. Both Mackenzie and Bingo think the creek is beautiful. But Bluey still wonders if they're right. Dad and Bingo lead them to the spot where he played as a kid. They rock hop it across the water. Look, jump, jump, jump. Some of the rocks are pointy, others are wobbly, and the green ones are slippery. The creek is beautiful, Bluey says to herself. It's so lovely. I'm not scared of it at all. But she might be a little. Woo! See, she's excited because she made it to the other side. Bluey is getting the hang of the creek. You made it, Squirt, says Dad. The creek is an adventure. Here we are. I don't think I've been to the creek since I was your age, says Dad. It still looks the same. The creek must be really old then. Bluey's not sure what to play. In the playground, it is easy, but the creek is different. Just then, a dragonfly flutters past and Bluey just starts mucking around, skipping stones and making boats. Look, I remember doing this when I was a kid too, making a boat out of leaves and sticks and bark and racing them down the creek. And building dams. Bluey thinks the creek is fun. At Daddy Day Spa, Dad finally gets his nails done. Bingo slops a mud pack on Dad. This will make you very beautiful. Oh, I'm out of mud. I'll get some more, volunteers Bluey, and heads off. Bluey squelches her paws into the mud. Suddenly, there's a rustling noise. Bluey looks up and gasps. A potteroo! They stare at each other, the potteroo's nose twitching before it bounds off. As the gang heads home, Bluey doesn't have to wonder if Mackenzie and Bingo were right. She knows for sure, deep inside, that the creek is beautiful. That's so cool, what a great book. Bluey, she's a little bit nervous at the start and she doesn't wanna to go to the creek because it's new, but she decides to go on an adventure anyway and she absolutely loves it. And I used to go on adventures to the creek when I was a little boy too. Do you guys like going to the creek? It's so much fun. I hope you kids enjoyed this book. We'll see you on our next video. And until then, as always, stay keen. Oh.
Make sure you get a grown up to help you hit subscribe. That way, you won't miss out on any of the new videos that come out. And did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Make sure you look really closely because they're in every single video. And we'll see you again soon. Until then, stay keen. Don't forget to follow Aussie on our social channels at Aussie for Kids. Feel free to send us some ideas on what you want to learn about next. What sports you'd like to play, jobs you want Aussie to feature, vehicles you're fascinated with, or any subjects you'd like to know more about. I'm just as keen as you, so together, let's learn more. And if you've got any friends that you think might like Aussie, don't forget to tell them too. See you next time, kids. Until then, stay keen. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.